Pisces, what's happening? This is, of course, Rachel Stebbins Navy, a.k.a. Villaggio Strega, here with your March 21st through 28th reading. That's flipped. Um, this is, of course, a general reading, so keep that in mind and take what resonates and leave the rest. And it's for all representations of Pisces in your chart, whether it's your house, your rising sign, your moon sign. It's just Pisces energy. So let's see what's going on, Pisces, for, for the week of March 21st through the 20th. Okay. And there you have it. Okay. What is the challenge for Pisces? this week. Okay, starting out with the challenge. Ooh, got the white buffalo woman. Got hermit card energy. All right. You know that's a moment where you need to take some time off. You need to go within. You need to focus on your own inner light. What makes you special? What makes you unique? And how is it that you service others with that energy here, Pisces, with this energy? Hermit card as it is. Okay, let's see what the advice is then for you guys. And we'll go back to that. We'll reflect on that again in just a moment. With the Five of Cups energy, some sort of loss. One more for Pisces. Look for a potential outcome, please. Get the food card energy. Okay. So, no sense crying over spilt milk, although some some of you may, it may be a little bit bigger than that. It may be a little bit more emotional. Indeed, this is the card of grief and sorrow. Why? Because she's so focused on what is lost that she forgets to look at what is behind her. What are those two cups that are still remaining? They're still full. There's still life after all. And not to mention, there's a stream running by here, right? So this represents keeping things in balance with those land mountains and uh, water you see in the tarot. That's something being kept in balance. If only she could replenish her cups from that moving water right next to her. And then somewhere in the background, usually there's a bridge or a house. Yes, there's the house, which represents safety and stability, uh, your security. So something has been shooken up. And the advice is to not focus on what is lost. And it's not that uh, it's not worth grieving over Pisces because indeed, uh, excuse me, this is a hierophant. Uh, indeed, there is something to grieve, and there's something that involves a higher commitment in this as well. Whether it's the choice, whether it's a soulmate energy, whether it's uh, you finding authentic spiritual teacher here. Uh, I could be dealing with a Taurus energy as it is two Pisces, but all in all, it's, it's asking you to connect to the divine and definitely uh, seek a higher commitment in a situation. Probably one that's not going to cause you so much grief and sorrow here, too, because once you can overcome that pessimism, once you can come up, overcome that sadness, Pisces, you've got the fool card energy out. So here it is. Here's the be beginning of the hero's journey, right? And, and the ending as well. It's the new beginning, perhaps, for many of you, where you're you can be enthusiastic about it if you so choose to, Pisces, because this is now your chance to... Rebirth yourself. Go on a new adventure, something you never have, have thought of before and you have no experience in because this is the card of also blind faith. The hero doesn't know what he's about to walk into. He just knows he has to go on. He has to proceed. He has to go expand. Let's clarify this up for you, Pisces. See what's going on here. Let's clarify that hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant, please, for my Pisces for the week of March 21st through the 28th. Hierophant energy for Pisces. Okay. I am getting the Knight of Swords energies, Pisces. Knight of Swords. Okay. So Knight of Swords can sometimes be be a little bit on the uh, uh, insensitive side. There may have been a situation where uh, you were dealing with somebody who maybe didn't want that higher commitment or maybe uh, didn't really represent themselves in a way you thought that they thought they were or really wasn't um, what you thought they were in a situation here, Pisces. But this can also be someone who's very truthful, very... Um, clear in their intentions, goes after what they want and does its things swiftly. Uh, it could also be someone who's, who's, uh, intellectual. Yes. Uh, witty at times. Also, it could be an element of wit with this. Um, let's clarify your, 
Let's clarify your five of cups energy, Pisces. We've got seven of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody was being dishonest. For sure. Somebody was being dishonest in a situation. That's why things, that's why that higher commitment, that challenge of that higher commitments out here uh, for you guys is because there was, there was some dishonesty and it's, it's hurt you. It's broken your heart. Um, this is you starting over. You know, the, the higher commitment may also be the higher commitment to yourself, like loving yourself enough to move away from the impulsive, the insensitive here, um, which you know what it is, it is painful. It can be painful. It can be hurt. Um, but you don't need deception around you. You don't need liars. You don't need those who are, are tricksters, that trickster energy around you. Let's see about this new beginning, this full card energy, please. Clarify the full card energy for my Pisces. What do we got? Got nine of cups. So this is the wish fulfillment card. This, I think this is really about Pisces. You letting go, right? You saying, okay, this hurts. I wanted something more. I want something more out of life. Like the higher commitment is you perhaps wanting something more for yourself, making that connection again, maybe finding that spiritual teacher to guide you through this this transitional time for you because you're you're about to embark on something new and beautiful Pisces the wish fulfillment is out this is where you're emotionally satisfied and you can ask for more and of course you can especially if it's something you've never done before and that's really what this is this is you coming out of something you're healing right this is this is that healing process you're like okay the fucker lied right something something happened where there was deceit there was deception taking more than than what it is owed or what is worth something along those lines and your challenge is okay stand up stand in your power like this knight of swords energy and do it swiftly like 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 flick the switch get get some get some sort of counsel like like spiritual counsel on board with it all pisces because i think you're going to need it you're overcoming this and hey you're going to want somebody to have your back and kind of be there for for some feedback as you move through uh this transition in your life so let's see what else spirit wants you to know it's getting dark here getting dark in vermont I apologize for the lighting. Well, I have plenty on. It's just my face, right where I want to be, right? Say, so what else does Spirit want Pisces to know for the week of March 21st through the 28th? What else does Spirit want Pisces to know? What else does Spirit want Pisces to know? Okay. Well, they're certainly taking their time thinking about it, Pisces. Archangels, what would you like Pisces to know for the week of March 21st through the 28th, please? Please shed some guidance for them. There it is. Counselor. Yeah, like I was saying, you do need some help on this one. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So here is you taking the counsel, perhaps the advice, perhaps the grief and sorrow is you, Pisces, leading someone else out of it as well. So counsel, seeking that counsel. One more from the goddess deck, please. What else would you like Pisces to know? Thank you. Transformation, here it is. You are expecting enormous change right now, or experiencing rather enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Telling you, Pisces, something beautiful is going to happen here. Something beautiful, something wonderful. Out of all the grief and sorrow, out of all the deception, there is something wonderful coming your way. So I wish you the best, Pisces. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Blessed be.